Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for October 13th, 2022 from John chapter 7, Getting the Details. Previously, we heard about Jesus telling the crowd that people were trying to kill him. Then we heard that the religious leaders sent officers to have Jesus arrested. But Jesus would continue to speak and would continue to teach with such great authority. Well, let's continue on with our narrative from John chapter 7, verse 45. The officers then came to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, Why did you not bring him? The officers answered, No one ever spoke like this man. Wow. The words that Jesus was using is, of course, God's own word. These officers heard that word of God and respected Jesus for speaking these words to them. It's interesting, by contrast, in today's world, Do the people respect pastors and Christian teachers who are correctly teaching God's word to us? Do we value and appreciate that opportunity to gather to hear God's word and to study that word and hear that word being proclaimed? Consider the third commandment and Martin Luther's explanation to it. The third commandment, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not despise preaching and his word, but hold it sacred and gladly hear and learn it. Notice that Martin Luther's explanation does not focus on church attendance, but instead focuses on hearing, gladly hearing and learning God's word. Unfortunately, I have more people who are in attendance for the worship service and nothing wrong with gathering to hear God's word and receiving that sacrament. Amen. But I have more people there than I do in the Bible study. And that's the time where we, as Christians, we dig a little bit deeper into God's word. Now, to be fair, we want people to receive the sacrament and to encourage one another, but we also want people to study even more. And by the way, my numbers decrease even more when it comes to these daily devotions. So what is that teaching us about our human nature? One hour, as long as it's convenient, but what if it's more than an hour? Does God's word want us to study it more and more? The answer is yes. But let's continue on with the narrative. Verse 47, the Pharisees answered them, have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. So the Pharisees were sort of puffed up by their own academic learning. Instead of having a simple faith that trusts the almighty God and what God's word has to say to them. Verse 50, Nicodemus, who had gone to him before and who was one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? Wow. Remember, Nicodemus was the one who appeared to Jesus at night. Now Nicodemus speaks up, just wanting a a fair trial for Jesus. Remember, you already had the idea that the religious leaders wanted to arrest Jesus and kill him without much of a trial. Verse 52, they replied, are you from Galilee too? Search and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Well, it is true in the Bible, it talks about the Messiah not coming from Galilee, but what the religious leaders failed to understand was the mobility issue. That Mary and Joseph, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, moved to Egypt and then to Nazareth in Galilee. Just like if you would ask me where I am from, I would tell you I was raised in Chicago, but technically speaking, I was born in the state of Michigan. 
Very much like Jesus, I was moved at a very young age. But the religious leaders didn't seem to be concerned with exactly where Jesus was born. They were just more concerned with condemning him and killing him. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.